Hey, it's Mitch. Doing the cruise. In 1967, Steve Miller moved from Chicago to San Francisco and then formed the Steve Miller Blues Band. A guy named Harvey Korsband, managing partner, wrote and negotiated the band's contract for $860,000, an unheard of amount for an unrecorded band over five years, as well as $25,000 in promotion money that was to be spent at the band's discretion with Capitol Records. Capitol persuaded the group to drop the blues from its name, shortening it to the Steve Miller Band at the recommendation of George Martin in order to broaden the appeal. Now, George Martin makes a recommendation you're probably listening. Guitarist Boss Gags joined the band soon after, and the group performed at the Magic Mountain Festival in June of 67, and the following week at the Monterey Pop Festival. The Steve Miller Band has enjoyed much success, and Steve is still on the road. Saw him a few years ago at River Edge Park in Aurora, and he was Rock and Roll Hall of Fame smoking. The Eagles' greatest hits is the biggest selling album of the 20th century. But Steve Miller's greatest hits has sold over 13 million copies. So no tag days for Steve and the boys.